Hey, Born Free Bikers, it's December 1st, 2023. And uh, we're going to take the Indian out for its last ride of the season. Take advantage of this beautiful day. It's actually pretty warm in December. And this will chalk off the block of uh, or the month of December, meaning that uh, I was able to ride my motorcycles in every month of 2023. So, today, we're going to carry on and take you to the new Indian dealership. And I'm going to share you with you three things that I really love about this motorcycle. So stand by. Heard that right this bike comes standard with cruise control which is such a game changer all right it's very simple to set you just push the button over here you can see the little yellow light comes on that says you it's ready for it and then hit the set button for the speed and down below it you'll see uh, the green um, button comes on that says that the cruise control is engaged so right now you're good to go it'll maintain at the speed of 48 or we can click it up and down and slow it up by just the move of a button here. It's equally easy to disengage it. I'll hit the front brake here and you'll see that it comes out of cruise control automatically and gives me control of the motorcycle again. Then I simply pull the button to the right and it resumes again as you can see here and takes over the cruise control that I had it set for. I can also disengage it by engaging the clutch on the left here, and you'll see, again, it gives me the motorcycle command back. And then all I have to do is hit resume, and it goes back to uh, the cruise control again. Finally, I also can disengage it by pressing the right brake pedal here. And then you'll see, again, the cruise control comes off and gives me command of the motorcycle. And uh, that's that easy. So you'll be covered under any circumstances if you have to make any type of um, emergency stop or break or you run into a situation where you have to come out of cruise control. The technology is wonderful here. And i got to be honest with you, that's the only technology I'm interested in this motorcycle. All the rest of it, a lot of you might find useful. Uh, for instance, it's got three mo rider modes in which uh, it'll tone down the response of the motorcycle in bad weather or you can go into touring mode if you're on the highway and just set it on cruise control so it's not quite as, uh, I don't want to say jerky, but perky. Or you can go into sport mode, which is what I keep it in most of the time, which is the, uh, the full horsepower and everything out of this motor that you can get out of it. I just love to ride it that way. But many of you would find those ride modes useful. So it comes jam-packed with a lot of stuff. Um, and I think that uh, a lot of modern day riders demand this technology and Indian has certainly delivered here. The only other thing that it could have had that would have put the icing on top of the cake for me on this technology department is if it had heated grips. Believe me, once you've had heated grips and you ride as long as I ride and probably a lot of you ride, um, they become indispensable. They're just a joy to have, but they don't come stock on this bike. As you can see in the technology department, there's a lot to love about this bike. You get a lot of bang for your buck, like I said before. Now, for the second thing that I love about this motorcycle is the brakes and suspension. They're top notch on this bike. I especially like the brakes. Up front, there's dual Brembo four piston radio mounted calipers, and they grip semi floating dual 320 millimeter discs. And this system has ABS. You can see how great it stops here. 
I'm always confident that when I press that front brake lever, this bike is going to come to a stop. And that's important to me because I'm a front brake guy on the motorcycle. On the rear brake, you'll find a 300 millimeter floating disc. It also sports ABS and it's gripped by a two piston caliper. I think it's Indian's own uh, setup, but it equally does a good job. As far as the suspension goes, the front sports a 43 millimeter KYB inverted telescopic fork. It comes with about 5.1 inches of travel, according to Indian. As I said, pointed out before, the dive on it is uh, non-existent. It really handles very well, and it soaks up anything that I have to put on it uh, from most of the roads that I ride on it. Now, on the rear suspension, there's a pair of Fox shocks with piggyback reservoirs. They're spring preload adjustable for four inches of travel. Now, I got to be honest with you, I usually don't touch my suspension. I should study the suspension a little better. Um, but honestly, the way that it comes from the factory or how they set up the dealership, most of my bikes are comfortable. But then again, I don't know any difference. And before we move on to number three, the third thing I love about this bike, I want to take you to a uh, nice, sweet little dealership that just opened up on the seacoast. It's given a little bit of competition to uh, the Indian dealership in Manchester. So sit back, we're almost there. Tell me what you're thinking, give me what you're drinking. Tell me what you're thinking, give me what you're drinking. Let's go in and take a look. Look at how shiny that one is. A little bit different than my matte color. Look at that right behind her. The old FTR, man. Still love that motorcycle. As soon as that new one comes out to 100%, I'm going to do a feature on it. You see, this one isn't a limited edition like mine was, though. This is what I want to put on next. But believe it or not, that's 500 and something dollars. 
All right, we're gonna fast forward through the rest of this. As you can see, the bottom floor is mainly the merch. It also has a main desk where you'll find Adam Holmes, who's the parts manager. He can help you out with any parts with for your Indian motorcycle. They have quite a bit of stuff in stock right now. As a matter of fact, that air cleaner is back there that I want to get they have, but I just don't want to drop that kind of coin right before Christmas. As we go upstairs here, you'll see they have quite a bit of inventory up here. I was uh, quite su pleasantly surprised. If you're in the uh, market for an Indian, this is a good place to come because I'm pretty sure they'll have whatever it is you're looking for. Also was uh, introduced to the manager of the store, but unfortunately I didn't get his card. Really nice guy though. Like I said, we'll come back and we'll do a proper um, review of this dealership, hopefully when they have an open house. I didn't film any of the uh, service department area, but I did go down there and speak to Brian Frederick. He's the service manager down there, I believe, or the service advisor, and uh, really a really good guy. He told me they're going to get a Lloyd's tuning machine in here, so and that's a pretty big deal. Hasn't come in yet, though. It'll be great because they'll be able to tune my bike after I put the two into one uh, Fab 28 pipe on it and that new air cleaner. So uh, I'm psyched about that. Hopefully that won't be too expensive. That'll do it for the dealership. Let's hit the road and go over the third and final thing I love about my motorcycle. Now for the third and final thing I love the best about this motorcycle. That's right, I said it. Just the appearance. You know, the appearance itself. This bike is absolutely gorgeous. It's got sleek lines, it's well designed. I mean, the way that fairing line just blends perfectly into the tank line and the frame line. And uh, this iconic blue is my favorite color, that's why I chose it. But they're actually coming out with it. They just announced a new one for 2024. And this is a beautiful paint scheme too, especially if you like that Indian profile. It's so large and prominent on the side of the tank. So yeah, once I get this two into one pipe on this, uh, the appearance on this bike is gonna be even more sexier. So if you're choosing a bike just on what you like to see, this bike doesn't disappoint. So that covers the three things I love about this motorcycle after having ridden it all this season. Putting over 4,000 miles on it. It's only going to get better from here. If you're thinking about an Indian, you can't uh, go wrong with this motorcycle. Okay, that's it for this week, all you ramblers. Stay tuned next week when we'll talk about one man who faces down the tail of the dragon and lives to tell the tale. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, please. Can use all the help we can get here on Rips Ramblin'. See you next week.